Hi everybody, it's a cold, snowy, drizzly, gross day here in Jersey, so we thought it'd be a great day to make some really good comfort food. So I'm actually gonna make one of other Poppy's favorites, French onion soup. No, Lulu, I'm sorry, this, you can't have any of the soup. You can't, I'm sorry. But it's actually quite easy to make. A little time consuming, but oh so worth it. All right, just watch. To start, you need some julienne onions. Um, you can use whatever kind of onion you like, yellow, white, red, sweet. I'm just using regular yellow onions. I find that this has the best um, depth of flavor for the soup. Um, but yeah, use whatever kind you want, but we need a lot. Yep, you're gonna need more than that. Yep, you still need more than that. We're about halfway there. But note how thin I'm slicing them. You want them really nice and small. Okay, let's keep chopping. Almost there. Okay, now we have enough. You need about eight cups of thinly sliced julienne onions. You'll see they're nice and thin. Um, a good trick to do before you slice onions is to refrigerate them for at least an hour before um, before you slice them to prevent the you know the watery, itchy, burning eyes. Unfortunately, I didn't do that, so I'm a big mess right now. But I digress. Let's get on to the other ingredients. So to your stock pot and the onions, you're going to want to add two cloves of minced garlic, two tablespoons of butter, and about two tablespoons of olive oil. All right. All right. Now we're going to get the heat going. You want to start on high. And then as soon as you start hearing some sizzling, you're going to want to lower the heat to medium low. And then you want to stir it a lot. Slow and steady wins the race for this one. If you cook it at too high of a heat, you're going to burn the onions, you're going to scorch them, and your soup's going to be awful. Um, but you don't want that. You want the onions to be nice and caramelized, and the only way to do that is to do it over a low heat. So it's going to take about 20 minutes. So the onions have been cooking for about 10 minutes, so you can see how nice um, and tender they've become. They're getting nice and translucent. I raised the heat a little bit to about a medium now. Um, you know, so this way they're going to start caramelizing. You could go to a higher heat, but if you do that, you're going to want to stir these constantly. So it's all up to you. All right. Okay, so they've been cooking for about 20 minutes total. You see they're starting to caramelize, but they still have a little bit of ways to go. So probably about another 10 minutes. Um, and you're also going to see why we needed so much onions, because remember that full pot of onions we had? <laughs> Barely covering the bottom now. All right. Keep cooking them. Okay, so a half hour later, my onions are finally ready. You see they're nice and golden. Um... No scorch marks, which is good. So now at this point, you want to turn up the heat, and you're going to want to deglaze the pan. I'm using a nonstick pan, so there's really not much to deglaze, but the booze is going to add a nice flavor. So at this point, you can use half a cup of sherry, quarter cup of brandy, or a half cup of white wine. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take that, and just pour it right in. Get that nice sizzle. Yeah, that's what you want. All right, so you're going to give this a nice stir. Don't worry about tasting the alcohol. The booze cooks right out of it as soon as it touches the heat. So once this is ready, like once the liquid's all gone, we're gonna start adding our seasoning. Okay, so once the wine all evaporated, I added about a teaspoon of thyme, dried. You can use fresh as well. I would use a couple sprigs, a little pepper, a little garlic, and a couple bay leaves. So you're gonna wanna stir this up. Careful not to break the bay leaves. <laughs> All right, and then this is when you're going to want to add your liquid. You're going to need eight cups of broth. Um, you can use vegetable, chicken. Traditionally, it's made with beef broth. You could find a nice bone beef broth. That'd be really fancy and really good. For which I don't have any broth, so I'm actually going to use some bouillon. I have some chicken bouillon cubes. So you want to throw that in. If you're going to do the bouillon, you're going to throw those in now. I'm using these bigger ones, so each of those bouillon are equivalent of two cups of water. So I'm going to get those all nice and melted before I add my liquid. So now that i got my bouillon cubes all dissolved, I'm ready for my water. Like I said, it's, you want to use eight cups total. All right, so we're going to let this, we're going to bring it up to a boil, then we're going to let it to simmer. We're going to lower the heat to a simmer. You want to let it cook for about at least a half hour, and then it's going to be so delicious. So while the soup is simmering, I decided to prep the crostini that I'm going to put on top of the soup. So what I did was I did um, half inch slices of some ciabatta bread. Italian or French bread work really well with like uh, for a soup like this. I wouldn't recommend using white or wheat or anything like that. You know, you want to go for the crispy, crunchy stuff. So what I did was I um, spread a little butter on the bread, topped it with some dried onion flakes, a little bit of garlic, 
a little bit of parsley, some Parmesan cheese, and then I'm just gonna drizzle with some olive oil. Then I'm gonna put these in a 400 degree preheated oven for just about 10, 15 minutes, just till they get crispy and the cheese melts a little bit. And that's it. Mm. So now that the soup has been simmering, you wanna taste it, make sure the salt's level is perfect for you. Okay, so the soup's ready, the crostini's ready, so now we're ready to start building the soup. Yes, Lulu. <laughs> yes, Lulu, I'll give you, you can have the cheese from the soup, but you can't have the soup, I'm sorry. Bottom of our onion soup crocks, now we're gonna top with some soup. So once you got your crocks full of the soup, you wanna to top with, two, with the crostini, because mine were little, I had to use two. Yes, soon, but like. Now we want to top with some more shredded cheese. Traditionally is used with Gruyere, so that's what I'm using. I'm using some Gruyere cheese. So I get that all over the top, and then into the broiler it goes, just till the cheese is melted, and then it's gonna be so amazing. Yeah. Just took them out of the broiler, and look at that, it's bubbling. Cheese is all melty and crispy. It's gonna be so amazing. Yeah, enjoy.